What's going on everyone? <clears throat> I'm back here with another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your Safari toolbar in OS X Mavericks. So this customization option is slightly hidden uh, for those that aren't too familiar with OS X. Um, and this customization option has been in OS X since Lion, I believe. Uh, but there are a few tweaks uh, that are new in Mavericks. But yeah, uh, the way to actually customize a toolbar is slightly hidden. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and open up Safari here. And so what you need to do to start customizing your toolbar is right-click uh, on either side of this top sites up here. Uh, it doesn't really matter where. Um, but just right click on it and it, depending on what your right click is for me uh, it is a two finger click on the trackpad since I'm using a MacBook uh, but if you're using a mouse um, I th still think it's a two finger click but I believe there is a um, a right click as well but yeah it just depends on what your right click is so whatever it is uh, right click and then you'll get this option right here of customized toolbar so go ahead and hit, click on that, and then it'll drop down <coughs> uh, this menu here, which has a bunch of button options. So, essentially, if you want to add one of these buttons to your toolbar, uh, say for example you want to add the top sites button, you can say put it right next to that, and as you can see, <coughs> uh, that button is now in the toolbar. And say you want to put the home uh, the home button essentially you could put that in there as well <clears throat> and then if you want to um, delete uh, a button you can just drag it out and as you see it kind of disappears and goes away and then if you want to uh, go back to the default layout of the toolbar say for example you don't like how you've customized it and you want to go back to the default all you have to do is drag this entire line of icons here and drag it up and it'll reset the toolbar to uh, default layout as it was when you uh, first opened Safari uh, before customizing. So that's pretty cool. Um, and for those wondering, uh, you can no longer have separate uh, search and address fields. Uh, I know there's many of you that have been wondering this and how to get it back. But unfortunately in Mavericks, uh, that is no longer available. Um, so essentially what Apple has done is they have combined the search and address field into one single uh, search bar. Um, whereas in Mountain Lion, I believe, uh, it was two separate bars where you could um, have a Google search bar on one side and then the address bar on the other. So, But yeah, um, in Mavericks you no longer get to have that, which is... Um, Unfortunate, but um, it's not really a big deal for me, but for some people it might be. Anyway, uh, that's how you customize the toolbar, and then when you're done customizing, just hit the Done button. The menu swipes back up, and everything is now set in stone to where you have put it. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video thought and thought that it was helpful. Uh, uh, make sure to hit the Subscribe button. Uh, helps out my channel a lot. Uh, also, hit that like button as well. That's also much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or need help with this, uh, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. So, yes, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.